this year it is definitely just black or white, do or die. Your ability to push the limits is so dependent upon your preparation. If you err across that line, the investment of everybody back at the shop, the driver, everybody kind of goes out the window at that point. Every football player dreams of performing on the biggest stage in the loudest venue in sports. That's what former Arizona State walk-on Kellen Mills had in mind, but not in the way it ended up as one of the top jackmen in NASCAR. Mills was part of the last state championship of the Mountain View football dynasty in Mesa in 2002 and walked on at Arizona State, eventually earning himself a scholarship to play for the Sun Devils through 2007. But when football life was coming to an end, an unlikely opportunity presented itself. Our strength coach, Joe Ken, was a big NASCAR fan, and he uh, put myself and a couple other my teammates in touch with some of the NASCAR coaches and uh, pretty much just set, up, set us up for the tryout. One of those teammates that joined Kellen was a fellow ASU walk-on from Corona del Sol High School. His roommate, locker neighbor, and best friend, Brent Knee neighbor. Kellen is just a natural leader. People tend to kind of follow him. You're a better person for being around him. He's never going to let anything kind of stop him or get in his way or people tell him no, you know, he's going to fight through it. Our life kind of as a pit crew member was very similar to how it was as a football player in college. I mean, you're in there early, spending long hours, you're watching film, you're practicing, you're working out. While Knee Neighbor went back to football and now resides in the office of the Washington Commanders, Mill serves as the jackman for star driver Denny Hamlin, where he was part of an 8.6 second pit stop this season, the fastest in NASCAR history. While the mental mindset of moving to a NASCAR pit crew presented a massive hurdle, the lifestyle of being a college football walk-on played into his path to success. Those kind of trials and tribulations you experience as, as a walk-on, you know, it's always a battle, it's always a fight, trying to kind of prove your worth and prove you deserve to be there. Well, when I moved across the country, I just took my belongings, drove across the country, and I feel like having had success with those types of gambles before made it a little bit less intimidating to, to go do a similar thing, jumping into the NASCAR side. I kind of related a lot football wise as like a special teams player because you're doing a pit stop and then you're sitting and you're just kind of waiting for a long time and then you have to be ready at the blink of an eye to get out and do another pit stop. A lot of guys that come from football have to get the mentality that you certainly aren't the primary piece of the pie. You're definitely a contributor to what the driver's doing and, and what he wants to achieve. And you got to make sure that you don't take any more risk than is necessary to deliver as much as you can deliver for him. But Mill still can't get away from football. After working in IndyCar and moving to NASCAR with Team Penske, Mills has pitted the past five years for Pro Football Hall of Famer and former Commanders coach, Joe Gibbs. It's really kind of surreal. Whenever he's around, I try to say, take a step back and, and observe, like, what exactly is he doing? What kind of things does he focus on? It's an honor to kind of work with him and be able to grasp little bits of wisdom from how he behaves and what he, what he focuses on, for sure. Mills has evolved into a veteran pit crew member and is still in search of helping Denny Hamlin acquire that elusive Cup Series championship. I'm part of something big, I'm part of something really important, and I want to make sure that I, I hold up my end of the bargain. Like make sure all uh, our T's are crossed and our I's are dotted, and when the race comes, we'll, we'll be there and put it on them and see what, uh, what, fate, what fate will give us.